Greetings from Farmer Bill, the Funds Art, Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. And continuing blog posts or YouTube videos about working on a 1986 F-150 for my daughter Kara for her first vehicle. And as you can see, she was pretty well rotted in some places. I have no illusions. This truck doesn't have many years left in it, especially coming back to Ohio. It was a southwestern truck. And uh, we'll keep her oiled up and keep her working and keep an eye on the safety features on it, what, what really matters, like the suspension and brakes and steering and, and things like that that make it stop. Make it go isn't as important as what makes it stop and steer. But as I look at this, I'm replacing a uh, upper rear shock mount. And as I listened to the radio, they just talked about Roger Penske buying uh, the Saturn company and the differences about how the company was structured. Uh, this structure on this pickup was designed to fail. I don't know if it was done purposely or just out of ignorance, but this is the upper shock mount. And it's, it's designed to sit in an upward position like approximately this against the frame with that open part up and the down part here pressed against the frame, making a perfect cup or container for crud. And that's just what you can see what happened here. Granted, time would have done this anyhow, but they uh, powder coat it, which isn't the best frame paint to have underneath a vehicle that's gonna be used as a work vehicle and not show. And then uh, they bolt to a frame and have this design here so that any water, moisture, mud would collect in there and, and not be able to escape and essentially corrode and rot away. Now I realize that all vehicles have a expected life but that's just plain stupid. Um, that could have easily been designed such that there was a channel to come out of it or it was inverted uh, such that it didn't trap stuff. And maybe that's a metaphor for the whole companies here. I mean, Ford survived, barely, we'll see. But uh, as I look at the designs of these vehicles, there's so much things, so many things in them that are, that are put in that just didn't have to be. Uh, maybe it was a cheap and easy way to do it, or maybe it was designed such that so that it would wear out so they could sell more of them. And I understand that too, but um, doggone it, that's just silly. So that's just a little observation I have as I listen to the radio, as I work on my truck for my daughter here, trying to make a little bit of something that she can enjoy and, and get some usefulness out of and we can afford as a family farm. And uh, you know, they didn't have to do it. They just didn't have to do it, but they did. Thanks for stopping by. Bill Backen from Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery.